Hi, it's Wayne O'Keefe, and I've, I'm experimenting this morning. I've decided to fish a Plenty Creek or Plenty River, but uh, it, look, it is so small and so shallow that it really is a creek. Uh, for most of its length, it has um, a very, very shallow section. I, I mean, some of the, I've walked past some of the sections this morning, and they've been sort of 30 centimeters, 60 centimeters deep. There's some areas that are a meter deep, but you can fish these as long as you keep a low profile and don't thud around on the on the bank and everything. But um, it's it's fascinating. You'll hear the water behind me. So the first place that I'm fishing this morning is right here, and as you'll see, there's um, flowing river, there's bubbling water behind me. The reason I'm fishing here is because this is that aerated water is something that fish really like and also it's areas like this that that fast moving water it carries food through and then the the slack water in front here and further down which I'm fishing into. So that slack water anywhere where the water really slows down uh, I'm fishing into. I'm, um, I'm not carrying much gear today, so all I'll do is I'll fish each spot probably for 20 minutes unless I catch a fish. And I'll, as soon as I get there, I've got worms only. Uh, because we've, been, we've had a little bit of rain lately, but the, the natural food in here is insects and worms. What I'm doing as well is I've, I've got a little bit of burley, but I took a lot of soil from my worm farm and I'm throwing a little bit of that out. And when I say a little bit about an egg-sized ball, I break that uh, an egg-sized ball up into about three pieces and I throw those out. That scent flows down. I've also got some of my burley pellets, uh, which, which I've made up, which I throw a few in. And when I say a few, I'm saying about 10 pellets um, because all I'm going to do is catch the fish that are immediately here. I'm not going to catch, I'm not going to be drawing fish up like I normally would. I'm going to be going looking for fish because there's not a lot of fish in these areas. This, this river or this creek is, uh, the water is not great. When it rains, all the water from the roads, the gutters and things like that flows in. I mean, you'll see the occasional tire and shopping trolley and basketball in and plastic bags in the water here. And, uh, and um, that's just part of being very close to the city. But I wanted to test if I could actually catch something in this water. So I'm going to rove around and, and try and do that. The gear I'm carrying is very light. I've got one small bag, I've got a few burley, a few little um, containers of burley, my bait, and a little tiny bit of tackle. And what I can do is I can just keep walking. As soon as I don't get anything, I'll pack up and move on. And uh, it, look, it's a great way to, to spend some morning investigating water, but also you, know, you get the fun of catching fish. I wouldn't eat anything from this water. Uh, everything will be returned, uh, unless of course it's carp. And, um, but there are redfin, there are roach, there are carp. Uh, there's even uh, eels in this water, so you know it's a bit of a mixed bag, a bit of fun. So I moved spots to what looked like a little bit deeper water and cast in with a worm. Uh, shortly afterwards, I got a bit of a tug on the rod, but this was an interesting fish because it wasn't swimming away. It was basically holding its ground, and it was only when I actually got to the surface I realized I had an eel, which would be a, a short finned eel, and uh, which are pretty common in these waters. And so this was a bit interesting, and so I had to get this one out. These things can swim quite powerfully backwards as well, so it's really only when you lift them out of the water that uh, the fight stops. Anyway, I wanted to release this one, but I had to take it out of the water to try and remove the hook. I wasn't really keen on touching it, and uh, so I, I got it out. But of course, this this eel knew that I was going to release it, obviously, because once I lifted it up and got it right to the bank, after a couple of flips, it decided to release itself. And uh, there it was, straight back into the water. After catching that eel, I didn't catch anything else. But that's normal for me. It usually takes me a couple of goes to, to actually work out a fishing spot. I had a look around and there was plenty of water that looked like it could hold fish. Some of it was quite difficult to access, but uh, plenty of spots that might have the odd fish or two. So it was worth coming back and I decided I would. I've come down to the Plenty River. Uh, this is my second time down here. Last time I was here, I was missing bites because I think my hooks were too big 
and uh, fish with small mouths, especially things like roach, which I'm sure in, in these waters um, just won't take it. So what they do is they, they pull the bait off it. Um, what I'm doing now is it's a, a roving approach like I did last time. I spend 15, 20 minutes in a spot. If I don't catch anything, I move to the next one. Uh, the, the fantastic thing about this area is that um, there's little deep holes every, everywhere. So you can walk along, and it's very shallow water, chance of catching a fish during the day in shallow water. And when I say shallow, I mean less than 30 centimetres deep. Um, chance of catching fish in those spots um, are pretty limited. But if you go to the deeper spots, there can be a couple of big fish in there um, holding until maybe, or they, maybe they, they're resident there and they stay there, or maybe they just sort of wait there and then uh, under cover of darkness they move out and feed. So it's just a matter of moving through those spots. It's, uh, it's fantastic fishing when you can do this. This is right in the middle of the, sur the suburbs. This is suburbia. So the water quality is not, uh, not great. So it's not about eating the fish here, but it is about the sport of catching them. So, and I'd love to hear from anybody. Comment below if you've actually fished your local creeks uh, and streams right in the city or right in the suburbs and actually caught fish and the species you've caught. Love to hear from you. If you do fish these creeks, you've got to be prepared to get in amongst the trees. So there's not much room to maneuver. Uh, take shorter rods with you. I've got this rod I'm using here is a pretty hefty fiberglass rod. It can take a lot of bending and rough treatment. It's also there to catch the bigger fish. I've got a graphite rod with me as well for a smaller fish and I'll put both of those in if I have space. It's a matter of casting in, throwing in some burly pellets to attract the fish and then waiting for them to come around. If nothing happens, then move on. Simple as that. After about 15 minutes at this spot, I was getting tiny little bites on this rod, uh, but no connection, so I decided to hold on to it. The next time that I got a little tiny tug on the line, I just struck into it, and then sure enough, I was into a fish. It was immediately below the rod, uh, and so after a, a little bit of a fight, I pulled this short finned eel out of the water, and uh, these things these things fight quite well. There's a little bit of uh, weight in them, so it's, it's a bit of fun to catch in these waters and I release them immediately. But uh, this, this wasn't happy to be caught at all, as you can see. I wasn't gonna to touch it though. I cast in again, and this time after a little bite, so I struck again uh, into what felt like a different fish. Anyway, once I got it to the surface, I realized that it was a roach. Now, this is not a big fish, but roach don't get that big at all. In fact, anything over about 200 grams is considered quite a large fish. So in actual fact, this is quite a reasonable size for these fish. They, they're a lot smaller normally in these waters. Anyway, it's just interesting to, uh, to get one of these and uh, it took the worm on a larger hook, which was really unexpected. Um, I would expect it on a smaller hook, but anyway, it was good to catch it. Shortly after getting the other fish out, I got another bite. This is on the graphite rod with lighter lines, smaller hook. Uh, it only had about one little worm on it, I think. Anyway, I got a fish, well, as it turns out, I got an eel, short finned eel. But yet again, it was a bit of fun in this water and I was surprised at the number of fish that I'd got in this water. Uh, and the eels fight quite well for their size and their weight. So yet again, good fun in the suburbs. So after getting this one out and taking a photo, I, I put it back in the water. This was going to be my last fish of the day and I decided that uh, I would definitely come back because uh, these waters were quite productive and they were so close. So it's great fun in the suburbs, really. <laughs>